What up boys and welcome back to another Shadowlands video. So uh, in this uh, series I am pretty much just showing you guys how much gold I'm making uh, doing like the daily things that I do in the game. And in this episode right here, it's only like 2 p.m. but I won't be able to play the game anymore. Uh, so that's it for today. That's why I'm shooting or recording this video so early. And we're going to take a look at how much I sold from yesterday's farm. And then we're going to look at what I've farmed so far today. So most of the day was spent testing out farms today, where I uh, did a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but I did some skinning. This is nothing compared to like the last couple of days, but I did some testing and some runs in uh, the other side, the dungeon solo farming, which I uploaded a video on earlier today. So if you guys haven't seen that video, you really should. I'm going to leave the link down below in the uh, description. And then I did some testing of other potential skinning routes. And uh, I also did some testing of herbalism. So I did some herb farming as well. And then I have a bunch of meat from doing like the skinning farms. Uh, and that's been making me a lot of gold. So before we see how uh, much I made from yesterday's sales, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide 50% off. It's only $9.99. If you guys spent the code uh, or used the code Shadowlands in the discount field in the link down below. And this is a book that I'm going to constantly update throughout every single expansion in the future. And you guys only got to pay for it once and you will get all the updates for the book. So mailbox. I know it's going to be a good day. I mean, if you guys saw like yesterday's episode, I had a lot of shit in the, uh, in the bags. And uh, yeah, 681,000 gold from yesterday's sale. So... You guys can see that I, I made it into the roast uh, aspect, the foods, and it was really good in the like the beginning of the day where they were selling for a lot of gold, and then today, uh, not so good. Like I sold 126 for 36,000 gold, and then I sell sold 267 for 49,000 gold uh, due to undercutters. Uh, so I I should have like just hold on to this one and waited until somebody reset or. Uh, like tomorrow in EU, it's reset day and Mythic Raids are out. So I probably could have sold it for more then. But um, I just usually just pump it up in the auction. I'll sell it for whatever it's priced at. Because I'm super happy with the gold priority that's going to give me anyways. Rather than uh, hoping on uh, somebody resetting it or resetting it myself. Like taking the gamble. So it was all in uh, like steak a la mode as well. Uh, I sold that one too. But besides from that, it's just skinning really and then i sold the epic that i received uh, while doing the skinning farm so for a hundred thousand gold so that was pretty sweet all in all six hundred and eighty one thousand gold which uh means that my total so far from four days of clean out is at 202 million two hundred and thirteen thousand gold so I, i'm relatively happy with that that's like five hundred and fifty thousand gold on average isn't it? I think it's the fifth, the fourth clean out. Actually, I, I'm losing count. It's the fifth episode, I believe. But it's the fourth clean out because episode one was just uh, announcing the uh, the challenge, I believe. Regardless, I'm happy with 2.2 million gold so far, and hopefully, I can keep the the trend going now with the raid releasing and all of it. But I also want to spend some time looking for new farms, new ways of making gold. So uh, days like today, I'm going to make less gold. Like if I pump this up on the auction house right now at the current price, we can see um, this 124. We can see how much gold is going to be worth. Let's see. Two gold. Now we can see I also have, I forgot to mention that. But from yesterday, I have 559 calisite, which is almost a thousand, a hundred thousand gold. So I have that as well. Got to cancel lease and repost. And then putting him all up there. This food, I'm going to wait and see what the price is to see if it's worth crafting the food or if it's uh, better to just sell it as it is. So without the food, we have farmed. Let's see, we've got to do a, a reload in that. Because I, I might just save a lot of food now for Mythic Raid. Or at least log on in the evening and see if it's worth to craft the food and sell the uh, the food. Or if I'm just going to sell the meat as it is. Uh, I've, I've noticed a lot more competition doing a lot of the skinning and the meat farms. However, 
there's a lot of things uh, that helps not plummeting the prices with the constant demand of the letter due to upgradable epics and people needing the epics for or the legendary sorry and people needing the legendary for droughts and then you also have the raid coming out so there's always going to be a need for food as well the, the demand is super high and the supply is not yet super high 255,000 gold so far and then another like 20 275 280 roughly yeah like 280 290,000 gold oh, i forgot i also got this from um shit mats from um the mission table so uh definitely not as good a day as i've had in the past though but if i can make this into food and sell it for a decent amount of gold it might not be a bad clean out after all and i haven't had a clean out below 300,000 gold yet but this uh tomorrow might be one of those days we'll see tomorrow anyways but this is not a challenge where i try to make gold cap as fast as possible it's just so people can see what i'm doing uh day by day what farms i'm doing what what i'm prioritizing and all of that so that was it for today's video so make sure to check out the uh the other sides dungeon solo farm video in the description down below and that's pretty much it thanks for watching if you got any questions leave them down below and i will see you all in the next one until then bye bye